Hey guys, how's it going? It's Money Manny with HTX TV coming at you with this awesome cryptocurrency updates and information today. If you are not subscribed, definitely don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and don't don't forget to hit the notification bell and don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. All right. <coughs> oh my God, it's up! Woo! Oh. Oh no, it's going down. Oh my gosh. So Bitcoin is at $50,598. And that is pl up plus 2%. So it went up a little over $1,000. Looking pretty good. Going into the this next week. So, And all the other cryptocurrencies have actually followed it. So all the other cryptocurrencies I'm seeing right here are in the green as well. Um, Ethereum is at $1,724 plus 4% in the green. Um, XRP, known as Ripple, is at $0.46. Cents. That's at a plus 0.67%. So looks like it might break out of uh, $0.46 cents soon. Bitcoin Cash is at $517 plus 2%. And EOS is at $3.84 plus 2% in the green. And last but not least, Dogecoin, for all you Doji fans out there, the people's, people's crypto, it's at 5%, but at a plus 6% right now, so definitely looking pretty decent. Now on to the stocks. All right, so going to chat a little bit about HCMC and a couple other stocks as well. Um, wanted to give a shout out to one of the commenters as well. Um... So HCMC, one of the another key points going into this next week was that the uh, the CEO Chris Santi he signed for another few uh, I believe four more years. His contract's gonna go till 2024 of January, and he signed for 363 thousand dollars salary. Not too shabby, and uh, yeah, they had a pretty. Going, you know, with all the CV19 stuff going on, they actually had a pretty decent year last year from a little over 12 million dollars. Not too bad, nothing stu super uh, stupendous, but not too bad as well, especially with the lawsuit going on. And it's looking like this year, with stuff, people are in Florida, not necessarily wearing masks and stuff, and people are getting out a little bit more. At the end of the day, that's kind of what's going on. So maybe the profits will get a little bit higher this year and people won't be as scared to go out and do whatever they got to do. Uh, one key point with them that I'm not sure if I mentioned with you guys, I'm not sure if I even knew it, was that I didn't know that they were actually, their products are on Amazon, which is, that was kind of impressive. So maybe they might have a big e-commerce surge coming up this next year. So, But they definitely have a big long way, way to go whether you're a shareholder now or looking to get in. Wanted to give a shout out to Buck Josh. He made a comment um, about uh, the blockchain's penny stock that I was chatting about with. Actually, it um, was actually S-A-N-P, S is in Sam, A is in Apple, N is in Nancy, P is in Paul, S-A-N-P, which stands for Santo Mining Corporation. So it's they're a blockchain-backed company. I believe they do mining and they have they mine different cryptocurrencies. A lot of people are saying they mine Cardano, which is in the top five cryptocurrencies right now, and it and that the cryptocurrency market is blown up with that particular cryptocurrency. So if they're mining that one, before Friday's close, they were over a hundred percent up in the stock in the green. So. And right now they're at one penny, so if you got some money, definitely. Um, I'm not a financial advisor, but i would definitely look into that one. I uh, wanted to give a shout out to Book Josh. Um, wanted to, I did send you a, a little comment, but maybe there's a few other other people that weren't exactly sure exactly what I was talking about. One, and there was another stock. There was um, somebody commented uh, a while back. I don't remember the name. Forgive me for that. But there was somebody that wanted me to talk a little bit about EA Sports, and I will. So I'm just going to go over the general information, and maybe in the future I'll keep talking about it. We'll see how the stock goes over the next uh, couple months. So EA Sports is actually stands for Electronic Arts. 
uh, the, uh, right now it's priced at $132.60. That's at a plus 1% um, increase since Friday. And from looking at their charts, um, it shows here their, their, their opening high was $132.93. And their low has been, recently has been $129.51. So, um, Electronic Arts is an American video game company headquartered in Redwood City, California. It is the second largest gaming company in the Americas and Europe by revenue and market capitalization after Activision Blizzard and ahead of Take-Two Interactive. Uh, CD Project and UB Ubisoft as of May 2020, according to um, this, their profile on online. CEO is Andrew Wilson. He's been there sep since September 17, 2013. Founder is Trip Hopkins. I mean, excuse me, Hopkins. Founded uh, May 27, 1982 from San Mateo, California. So they've been around for a while. I remember playing um, John Madden football in junior high in the, in the mid-90s. And it would say EA Sports. It's in the game. It always said at the very beginning. So, um... Subsidiaries are EA Sports, BioWare, Codemasters, and more. So, um, actually, one good thing that to know with this company is to know whenever they they have games coming out, which I believe um, you just got to research that. I'll definitely be keeping that also as well. But wanted to go over that, that stock and definitely looking at going more over that stock in the future. If there's any other stocks you'd like me to check out, let me know as well in the comments, and I'll check it out. So definitely check out those uh, cryptos this week. Um, that's all I got for you guys today, but definitely check out your apps. Um, a lot of stuff's going on. You know, Cardano is above a dollar now. That's pretty awesome good news. So talk to you guys later. It's Money Manny with HDX TV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Talk to you guys later.